pleased to stand here today and speak to this NDP motion regarding child poverty. This represents a great opportunity to inform this House of the many things our government is doing to reduce child poverty. As everyone knows, our government's top priority is the economy, and this means that we all want Canadians to have long-term prosperity, especially those that currently find themselves in low income. In order for us to achieve this, we must be able to improve the lives of many Canadians who find themselves struggling. I'm pleased that under our Conservative government, we have the lowest rate of child poverty in the history of this great nation. Indeed, our approach to reducing poverty, which emphasizes collaboration with the provinces and territories to invest in targeted programs, reduce taxes, and create opportunities for good-paying jobs, is working. To help make this a reality, the government invests in a wide range of programs and policies that support Canadians on the road to prosperity. This approach includes, for example, funding for student loans and grants so that more people have access to a good education. It includes support for training programs to help people get specific skills they need for the workforce. It includes support for apprenticeship programs so that Canadians can pursue a variety of trades. It includes transfer to the provincial governments to support post-secondary education. It also includes support for Aboriginal communities so that the First Nations, Métis and Inuit Canadians have a better chance to have a good job and secure their future. It also secures support to those with disabilities to find greater success in the workforce. It includes support for new Canadians to help them fully participate in the economy. And it includes constantly refining and improving supports for individuals who face particularly difficult barriers to participation in the workforce. To help ensure people are better off working, in 2007, our Conservative government brought the working income tax benefit to supplement the earnings of low-income working families. This benefit gives people in these situations a supplement to their wages so that families on social assistance will always be better off when they are working. The program works very well, Mr. President. In 2009, Mr. Speaker, the government doubled its commitment to $1.1 billion to help people off welfare and into the job market. By 2011, upwards of 1.5 working Canadian families were receiving support through this program, and it is estimated to have lifted some 110,000 parents, children, and single people out of low income. Let's dwell on that number for a moment. The working income tax benefit, just one of our government's measures, has lifted approximately the population of the city of Guelph, Ontario, out of poverty. This is quite remarkable, and it is proof that our plan is working. The federal government works with provincial and territorial governments on the national child benefit and provides direct funding to parents through the universal child care benefit. It also helps to ensure that enhanced benefits and services continue when parents move from welfare to paid employment. This has had a significant impact on reducing the number of children living in poverty. In 2011, the rate of children living in low-income families was 1.8 percent lower as a direct result of the National Child Benefit. That translates into approximately 118,000, 118,000, Mr. President, fewer children living in a low-income families because of this benefit. Here, here. Another example is the Canada social transfer to the provincial and territorial governments. In fiscal year 2013-14, this provided over $12 billion to provincial and territorial governments, an increase of $4 billion since the Liberals were in office. This continues to increase at the rate of 3% per year. This funding supports provincial initiatives in early child development, early learning, child care and post-secondary education, as well as social assistance and other social services for families with children in low income. Other initiatives in support of families with children include the Universal Child Care Benefit, which we have recently announced will now be more, about $2,000 per year for each kid under six, and $700 per year for, for six and over, helping families with costs of whatever form of child care they, they choose, the families making their own choices. It is credited with lifting some 41,000 children in 1,900,000 ,000 families, out of low income, and this will dramatically increase with our recent top-ups. The child care expense deduction, which we have just announced will be expanding, is another example. It lets families deduct the cost of child care from their taxable income, and in 2013, it reduced taxes payable by families by about $1 billion. 
There was also the child tax credit of $2,255 for each child under 18 that reduces the parent's income tax payable by about $340 for each child. The government has also supported the creation of over 8,500 direct care spaces in over 400 First Nations and Inuit communities to encourage more Aboriginal Canadians with children to join the workforce. In total, the government is providing over $15 billion in benefits for families with children through programs and tax measures, just as the Child Canada Child Tax Benefit, the National Child Benefit Supplement, the Child Disability Benefit, the Universal Child Care Benefit, and finally the Child Tax Credit. The vast majority of this investment goes to low and modest income families with children. One must also consider all the federal investments being made to the housing to make it more affordable, more affordable excuse me, for lower income Canadians. Since 2006, through the Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, the government has invested more than $16.5 billion in housing. Working with its partners, CMHC has helped nearly 915,000 Canadian households, including low-income families with children, helping them find adequate and affordable housing. Mr. Speaker, the programs I have just mentioned are showing results. As I have mentioned, the incidence of children living in low income has dropped to all-time lows. That translates into about 730,000 fewer children living in poverty. In fact, there has been a decline in the low income rate for single female parent homes of over 20 per cent since 2002. As well as providing targeted support for those most in need, the government has also cut taxes for Canadian families and individuals by upward of $160 billion. The greatest benefit has been for low and middle income Canadians. Personal income taxes are now 10 per cent lower and more than 1 million low income Canadians have been taken off the tax rolls altogether. Mr. Speaker, that is like taking the entire population of Calgary off the tax rolls completely. The, the proof that our government's action is in the numbers and our plan is working. That's why I am pleased to support this motion because it recognizes all of the good work our Conservative government has done to improve the lives of the most vulnerable. Again. I thank the Honourable Member for a motion and I urge my, my colleagues to support it. Thank you.